Crocodiles and alligators are fascinating creatures. Often hailed as the ultimate survivors, they have continuously dominated the swamps and rivers for millions of years. Their ancient lineage and adaptive prowess have allowed them to thrive in various environments. However, when it comes to the epic showdown of these reptilian titans, the question arises, which one truly reigns supreme, the formidable crocodile or the resilient alligator? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of crocodilians, highlighting the key similarities and differences between these ancient reptiles. From their powerful, bone-crushing bites to their surprising social behaviors, we'll uncover the secrets that make crocs and gators the ultimate predators. Welcome to the ultimate showdown, crocs versus gators. We begin our exploration with some shared characteristics. Beneath their fearsome exteriors, crocodiles and alligators share a remarkable set of traits that have allowed them to thrive for millions of years. As members of the crocodilian family, these reptiles are ectothermic, relying on the sun to regulate their body temperature, a trait that links them directly to their prehistoric ancestors. Both species are semi-aquatic, perfectly adapted to life both in and out of water. Their scaly skin acts as a suit of armor, providing protection and aiding in camouflage within their murky habitats. And let's not forget those powerful jaws. Capable of exerting incredible force, these jaws are designed for gripping and tearing prey, making crocodilians apex predators in their ecosystems. These ancient creatures have an evolutionary history that stretches back to the time of dinosaurs. Imagine. Ancestors of today's crocs and gators roamed the earth alongside the mighty T-Rex. Few species have shown such staying power. Their exceptional adaptability has carried them through eras that proved fatal to countless others. As apex predators, they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems. By controlling populations of fish and other animals, they help ensure the health and diversity of their environments. It's a perfect example of nature's intricate web of life where even the most fearsome predators have an important part to play. These shared characteristics highlight the incredible adaptability and resilience of crocodilians, making them one of nature's most successful survivors. Whether it's a crocodile basking on an African riverbank or an alligator lurking in a Florida swamp, these living fossils continue to captivate us with their prehistoric power and presence. At first glance, Crocodiles and alligators might seem like twins, but a closer look reveals some fascinating differences. Let's start with their snouts. Crocodiles sport a pointed V-shaped snout that gives them a more menacing appearance. Alligators, on the other hand, have wider U-shaped snouts that almost look like they're smiling, though I wouldn't recommend getting close enough to check. This difference in snout shape isn't just for looks. It affects their diets and hunting strategies. When it comes to their pearly whites, crocodiles aren't shy about showing them off. Their teeth are visible even when their mouths are closed, giving them a perpetual toothy grin. Alligators are more modest, keeping their teeth hidden when their jaws are shut. Here's a fun fact. Both crocs and gators can replace their teeth throughout their lives, growing up to 3,000 teeth in a lifetime. Size-wise, crocodiles generally have the edge. The saltwater crocodile in particular is the heavyweight champion of the reptile world, growing up to 23 feet long and weighing over a ton. That's about the length of a small bus. Alligators are no lightweights either, but they typically max out at around 14 feet. Color is another key difference. Alligators tend to sport a darker wardrobe, usually appearing black or dark gray. Crocodiles prefer a lighter palette, often sporting olive green or brown hues. This color difference isn't just a fashion choice. It helps them blend into their preferred habitats. More information about their habitats will be coming up shortly. One last crucial difference is their tolerance for salt. Crocodiles are the seasoned travelers of the two, able to venture into saltwater environments thanks to special glands that remove excess salt from their bodies. Alligators, however, prefer to keep things fresh, sticking mainly to freshwater habitats. These physical differences aren't just trivial distinctions. They're the result of millions of years of evolution, shaping these incredible creatures to fit their ecological niches perfectly. Let's start with the need for speed. On land, alligators have a slight edge, capable of short bursts up to 11 miles per hour. Crocodiles, despite their larger size, max out at around 9 miles per hour. But 
Don't let that fool you. Both can sprint faster than the average human, making them formidable foes on land and in water. Speaking of water, this is where the real action happens. Alligators are the drag racers of the swamp, hitting speeds up to a blistering 20 miles per hour. Crocodiles, built more for endurance, cruise at a respectable 15 miles per hour. But speed is just one part of the equation. When it comes to raw power, crocodiles are the undisputed champions. The saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile, can slam its jaws shut with a bone-crushing 3,700 pounds per square inch of force. That's the strongest bite ever measured in any animal, enough to rival the legendary T-Rex. Alligators, while still incredibly powerful, bite with a force of around 2,980 PSI. To put that in perspective, a hyena, lion, or tiger generates around 1,000 PSI, and a human might manage 150 to 200 PSI on a tough steak. In the world of bite force, crocodiles and alligators are in a league of their own. But the power doesn't stop there. Crocodiles have another trick up their scaly sleeves, their teeth. At the tip, a crocodile's tooth can apply a staggering 350,000 PSI of pressure. That's like having a hydraulic press in your mouth. So who would win in a head-to-head -head battle? It's a tough call, but the smart money's on the crocodile. Not only do they have the size advantage with the saltwater crocodile growing up to 23 feet compared to the alligator's 15 feet, but their bite is significantly stronger. In a clash of the titans, the crocodile's brute strength would likely overpower the alligator's speed. And here's a fun fact that might surprise you. One of these ancient reptiles can launch itself up to six feet into the air from a standstill in the water. Can you guess which one? That's right, the crocodile. Their powerful tails and streamlined bodies make them the ultimate ambush predators, capable of exploding from the water to snatch unsuspecting prey. Crocodiles and alligators may share many similarities, but when it comes to their geographic distribution and preferred habitats, these ancient reptiles lead quite different lives. Crocodiles have a wider global distribution, found across the tropical regions of Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas. They thrive in various aquatic habitats, from freshwater rivers and lakes to brackish estuaries and even saltwater environments. In fact, the saltwater crocodile, as its name suggests, is perfectly at home in the coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific region. Alligators, on the other hand, have a more limited range. They are native to only two countries, the United States and China. In the U.S., American alligators are found primarily in the southeastern states, such as Florida, Louisiana, and Georgia, where they inhabit freshwater wetlands, swamps, and slow-moving rivers. The Chinese alligator, a critically endangered species, is found in a small area of the Yangtze River Basin in eastern China. The differences in habitat preferences between crocodiles and alligators are largely due to their adaptations and tolerance for salt water. Crocodiles have specialized salt glands that allow them to excrete excess salt from their bodies, enabling them to survive in saltwater environments for extended periods. Alligators lack these glands, confining them to freshwater habitats. Interestingly, there is one place in the world where both crocodiles and alligators coexist, the southern tip of Florida. Here, American alligators and American crocodiles share the same habitat offering a rare glimpse into the interactions between these two ancient predators. It's nature's own version of a reptilian melting pot. Both crocodiles and alligators are ambush predators, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey to come within striking distance. They'll eat just about anything they can catch, from fish and turtles to birds and mammals. When it's time to hunt, they use their powerful tails to propel themselves through the water with lightning speed snapping their jaws shut on their target with incredible force. But there's more to these reptiles than just their hunting prowess. Crocodiles and alligators are also highly social animals, particularly when it comes to parental care. Mothers are fiercely protective of their offspring, guarding their nests and even gently carrying hatchlings to the water in their mouths. Vocalizations play a key role in crocodilian communication, from deep bellows to high-pitched chirps. These reptiles use a variety of sounds to signal dominance, attract mates, and coordinate group behaviors. During mating season, males engage in elaborate courtship rituals, including head-slapping displays and infrasound vibrations that can travel through both water and air. 
In the grand scheme of things, the battle of Crocs versus Gators isn't about determining a winner or loser. It's about appreciating the incredible diversity and adaptability of these ancient reptiles. They are both supreme survivors, perfectly crafted by evolution to dominate their respective ecosystems. And that, perhaps, is the most important lesson we can learn from these ancient reptilian rivals. Thanks for watching.